Hi everyone, so I'm excited to share with you some more troubles. Um, it's funny because I was mentioning my last resin update how I don't really do updates a lot anymore but now this update is just so so close to the last update I posted. Um, but anyways, I'm going to talk a little more about these troubles at the end, like the details of selling them and such. But for now, I'm just going to show you the update. So I have two series I'm working on right now in addition to, you know, just the plain custom troubles with custom colors. These are the um, Halloween troubles and then this is the coffee series or what I'm calling the cat pacinos. So it's like a play on words with cat pacino. Yeah, I know I'm corny. So let me continue. What you see before you are some Halloween troubles and I'm going to go through them one by one. So first I have this werewolf boba and boba is the bear. I'm going to try to remind you guys every resin update because I'm trying to make the name stick. And he has a little heart right there and the eyes are golden because I feel like every werewolf show um, or every werewolf movie that I've seen posters for because I haven't watched that many werewolf things. Um, their eyes are always golden. So that's what I did. Then I have this Franken Porgy or Frankenstein Porgy. And there are some green hearts on top which I thought was really cool. And then you have the little like antennas or like the things that are on his neck. Then I have this seal or flipper um, skeleton. And this is darker than the next skeleton I'm going to show you. So what I mean by that is if I put a flashlight underneath like this, it's, it's literally opaque. So nothing happens. But the next skeleton I'm going to show you, which is the kit skeleton, is my favorite. It is really cool. So that's what it looks like. And it's like a real, you know, skeleton because it's like kind of transparent. And that's what that looks like. It's very similar to my Galaxy um, kit, if you've seen in my resin, I'm sorry, my Instagram posts. Then I have this um, glow in the dark boba, which is kind of like a ghost boba, kind of not. And this one is glow in the dark. So I'm going to have pictures, but kind of hard on camera because obviously there's so much light going on but this glows in the dark and it's really really pretty then I have a witch kit and I thought it was perfect because like you always see cats associated with witches and um, whenever you see witches do spells there's like sparks coming out so I thought the stars would be perfect and so that's what that looks like and I love the transparency to this too so as you can see I love it and then I have a vampire porgy so now I want to give a quick shout out to those of you who have already purchased this. So the moment I listed this on Etsy, within an hour, half of these sold, which is awesome. Um, but what I want to mention now is that I just put up a custom Halloween trouble listing. So some of you guys already know I have a custom trouble listing where you can you know create your own colors. But now I've also added in your custom Halloween troubles, and this is obviously going to expire. Uh, towards the end of October. I have all the information on there as well including when's the last day to order so that you can guarantee your trouble before Halloween and um, you can also give me your ideas of other troubles to make just for you so I'm really excited about that and if you have any questions you can always email me or message me on Etsy. So these are just a few of the Halloween troubles I've worked on and hopefully I'll have more going on but this is it and I really love these. And then the second series that I um, started are the cappuccinos or the coffees. So I'm just going to show you. This is the one that inspired it all. So it's kind of like an iced coffee. This one I'm calling iced coffee. It's like this kind of brownish bronze color and then a white color for the milk or the cream. And then a transparent color for like melted ice. So I thought that was really cool. I thought it would fit really well. And look how pretty the colors are. And you can see different um, like glitters in there. There's stars. There's some hearts if you look really carefully and then there's obviously different variations of glitter in each layer as well then I have these two which oh, I just love looking at the colors um, these are my cat pacinos haha <laughs> um, this is mocha because it's the darker one and this one I'm calling the coffee one because the coffee frappuccinos or cappuccinos are usually lighter colored and you can see there's a gradient from like a light white color to um, like a light brown and these have green hearts. So those are the cappuccinos. And I thought I'd just show this one because um, I'm always working on custom troubles and this is one that someone requested and I think transparent 
like people like transparent a lot because it's just really pretty so as you can see it's like this little disco thing going on and I just love how they turn out the transparency of them these have been so highly requested I decided to make two more for my Etsy shop um, I don't know how many more I will make in the future but these are the two that I currently have available and I hope you guys will enjoy them because I've been asked about these a couple times now since my first release for them and I never really appropriately filmed them because the moment I put them on Etsy they were sold so I now have two more of these available now I have something that I've been working on all afternoon so the last few clips that you saw for the Halloween, the bubble tea, and the cappuccinos they were something I worked on yesterday and now today I've been working on lollipops and gummies and candies so this is what I've come up with um, I have these gummy, what I call gummy porgies and these are actually being sold grade B because as you can see there are some bubbles on them on the ears, the nose, and uh, I just don't really like them. So as many of you are aware, with resin, you can't always control the bubbles. You can't always, but I try to minimize it as much as possible. So for some of my trouble pieces, if the ears are perfect, but I see a teeny tiny bubble on the snout, um, I'm not. it's not too big of a deal. But if, if there's just so many bubbles like all over the ears and all over the nose, the great thing is it's not a lot of bubbles on the outside. It's really just like near the features. So that's why I'm selling this great beam but the other one is nearly perfect and um, I have these two gummies so there is the glazed one and then the non glazed one which I'm calling the matte one and then after that I made some lollipops so these are also grade B lollipops because I was just testing it out and I gotta tell you I love them so much so let me just show you so here I have a glazed cat I think this is really pretty it's probably in my opinion prettier than the gummy the non glazed ones so here's what that looks like and then I have the non glazed ones right here and since I still have the sunlight with me I'm going to show you guys what that looks like oh god so in the sun as you can see it's really really pretty this one's super clear so you can see it a lot better and then this one is the glazed one and I, I really think the glazed one looks a lot better so these are being sold grade B on my Etsy now some of you guys sometimes ask me, you know, how do you classify grade B and grade A? And as I've shown with my porgy just now with the nose and the ears. So um, this was my test run, this one right here. Now this one is the, what I think is the final product. Now, mind you, this one does have some glitter. But as you can see with this one right here, there are a little nick, like little bubbles here. And I'm going to keep mentioning this because I'm sure any resin crafter can agree with me you can't control the bubbles sadly um, but this one I am selling for grade B and that doesn't mean that you know in the future I'm not gonna sell products with bubbles It's quite possible that there will be but I usually try to let the customer know now this one right here is what I think is completely perfect so no bubbles in the ears which you know it's already fascinating that sometimes this can happen and no bubbles around the nose and then for the straw, it's actually different than the original straw that I used. So this one's a toothpick for the test run. And this one I'm using an actual candy straw. So this is from the actual candy store that I took a bunch of and made this perfect little chubby pop. I'm calling my lollipop troubles chubby pops. Now last but not least, I have three more chubby pops. There is the red boba blueberry seal or oh cherry boba um, the blueberry flipper and the lemon boba and this one was actually recommended by my mom she really liked the pearlex pigment for this one and that's what that looks like so all of these candies that you see before you are also um, listed already and I'm dropping them all over my floor but basically I hope you guys enjoyed this trouble update this is entirely trouble and I would greatly appreciate any of your ideas for any holiday, any other, or even non-holidays um, because I like experimenting with different things. And um, if you guys have any, you know, other requests for polymer clay tutorials or other resin that's not trouble, I'm more than happy to do that. It's just that this is something I've definitely, as you guys can tell, invested a lot of time and a lot of my energy to. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.